Testing, clap sync, we should be good, should be good. Tap, tap. Hey there, McAllister here with Toasty DIY, and today we're taking a look at writer's gloves. So why writer's gloves? Well, I edit around the office quite often, and because of that, I end up getting cold hands. I sit just below a vent. This vent, day in, day out, whenever we have cooling going, is spraying right into my hands and just making them extremely cold. I often have to walk around just to get away, rub my hands together, and when I'm trying to edit, it can be kind of annoying when I have to stop because my hands are cold, especially if I'm in the middle of a hot streak. So before we go too much further, I do want to let you know, these were sent to us for free. I sent them an email to the writer's gloves and I said, hey, I have cold hands. I'm in the office all the time and I'd love to take a look at the pair. If you wouldn't mind sending one over, I'll make a DIY video for you. So that's how it started. And kindly enough, they actually sent over four pairs, one for me, Matt, Jackson, and Zach. So we each have a pair now and they currently sit at my desk just in case, cause not all of them are under vents. So when they want to use them, maybe different timings. You may even see them pop up in videos. They look like so. So as far as they go, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some overhead footage right over here. So they are made of a nice, almost Under Armour-esque material. You'll feel a little bit of give to them. When I was wearing them at my keyboard, you know, I wanted to be able to move around and function as I did with just my normal hands, just by themselves, except not being cold. That was the dream. Did I achieve that? Not exactly. The problem is that I use a chiclet style keyboard, so all my keys are very flat. There's not much definition between them, so it made it very difficult with these gloves to feel out between my keys. I did not get cold hands, so at least on that front, they were exceptional in achieving their goal. I didn't want to be cold while using them. I bet if I use them more, I might get more and more comfortable. I did come to find out in that first hour of use, I was using the wrong size. The next day I went back and tried with a larger size. It did feel more comfortable. I even tried switching out with Matt's keyboard. It made it even more comfortable when I started having a more defined laid out keyboard. He has the Iconex keyboard. I had the Logitech, I believe G15. I'll throw it on screen if I was wrong about that. But as you see, they have pretty simple design. There's not much to say. They are a glove in every way, shape and form. They go higher up the wrist than I expected. Though I imagine that has something to do with the heat retention. It makes it easier if it covers more of your arm. They are comfortable and do work with touchscreens so you're welcome to use your phone or other electronic devices while wearing them it's just the finer detail since i move my fingers around a lot i don't use the home row keys i couldn't feel where i was on my keyboard personally that made it difficult though if you were more of a writer as the gloves are intended for than an editor i'm sure you'd find your hands in more reliable spots than i did where they're shuffling around between all sorts of different keys and macros on the side of the keyboard. So if you're wanting something that'll just keep your hands warm while you type, you can definitely do these. If you spend a little bit more time with them than I, I'm sure you can find yourself becoming more comfortable. I do recommend they have a sizing chart on their website. I do recommend taking a peek at that. It's important that you get the right sizes. When you're in the smaller one, if you're moving around a lot on the keyboard, maybe doing spreadsheets and you're using the mouse wheel, it can feel almost like it's stiffer and tighter to do it because of how that underarm material or that tightening material sits around your fingers, it can make it a little bit more difficult to scroll the wheel. And when I'm saying this, take it with a grain of salt from a guy who's doing this day in, day out, day in, day out, and is really just looking for the most optimal experience. I don't think I could find a thinner glove than this that would also keep my hands warm. So as far as what I wanted them for, they do the job. As well as I was hoping, a little less, but, but really that lies more in my expectations than the reality of the club. So all in all, if you are somebody that is just looking to keep your hands warm, you can use these. They will get that job done. If you're expecting it to be like having your bare hands on the keyboard though, you will be a little disappointed. But all in all, I do recommend checking out their website. You can see their sizing chart. Important that you do get the right size or you will find that they're more restricted than you'd like. So they have a little guide online for how to size up your hand. You just take a little measure, whip it around, and you should be good. That's really all I have to say. I'm gonna leave the link for these gloves down below if you wanna take a peek. It is an affiliate link. They did send them over. I wanna be nice enough to at least let them know. We respect and appreciate the time for them sending these over because we did ask for just one pair and they sent over four. Thanks again to Writer's Glove and peace out everybody.